Hello everyone, welcome to this Python programming series. Today we will be looking at how to install Python and what is Python and what is Pip. Now first of all, if you want to install Python, you will need to go to your Chrome browser. Now just search Python download. After searching that, you will see a site named Download Python Python. Oh, this is the official site from which you can download the official Python version. Now, I will be downloading the latest version or if in the future if you are watching this video, there will be a different version, you can download that. For me, it's 3.8.3 download. Now, if you are using Linux or Mac OS, you might need to use these buttons, but I will be downloading on Windows. So, this is the Windows option. I will just download it right now. As you can see, downloaded. While it is downloading, I will tell you a little bit more about what is Python in general. Now, Python is a dynamically typed language. Okay, Python is mostly taught in universities or institutes first because of mainly three reasons. It is simple, easy to learn, and general understanding. Now, as you can see, my Python 3.8.3 is installed. Now, after it is installed, you will need to execute the .exe file. Now, I will click this. It will be executed. Now, run this. Now, at this point, you will have two options. Customer installation or install now. I usually don't recommend uh, anything like, uh, I don't restrict you from downloading only in C drive. You can download wherever you want. But I recommend downloading in C drive. Just because of the reason that if you download in C drive, it would automatically add a path include pip and idle now what is pip and what is a path now this option should be ticked why are you taking this because for this reason now if i were to go to cmd and i were to write python here as you can see it says python is not recognized as an internal or external command that is because we are we have not integrated python with our environmental variables so we cannot access python from our cmd and if i search pip it will also say it is not here. Pip and Python. Pip is basically a Python external library downloader. You can download external libraries like Panda, CVs for, for Python. Now, if you want to install both of them, you'll need to click. Yep. And after clicking that, you will go and yes. You can see it is installing now. And while it is installing, I will tell you a bit more about where Python is used. Python is usually used in computer vision, natural language processing, most of you are thinking that Python might be used in other stuff like uh, small coding, yes you can also use Python in small coding, each language has its own perspective, if someone were to ask me which is the best programming language, I would say every one of them has their own standpoint. Java is usually used for oop based applications or Android Studio mostly or to make apps and C++ is used when you need to make a software which should morally, mostly focus on speed rather than performance, uh, actually on performance. Now, Python has its own area in which it is expert is, such as machine learning, AI and deep learning and other stuff like that. We will go into this in the future, but for now we will only focus on what is Python and how to install it. Now, uh, let's see how much left. There's still quite a bit left. Now, another known fact: if after this your pip and Python still don't run, if it still says pip and Python is not recognized, I will also show a way to fix that problem. Also, now uh, let us just wait a bit for it to install. Other than that, there is one thing important to know. Python, unlike most languages like Java and C++, Python is in, has an interpreter. Now, what is an interpreter? Most languages have a compiler. A compiler which is, uh, compiles the whole code. Basically, suppose I write a code here, which is something like print Ali. And then I write another thing like print Umar. Now, if I uh, <clears throat> now Python does not execute this as a whole, Python will read this line first, then execute it. Then after executing this line, it will go to this line and then execute this line. But other traditional languages like Java and C++ don't do this. They compile the program as a whole. They first check the whole program for bugs and errors, then they print it as a whole. This is the main difference between Python and other languages. Now to 
overcome this problem as our interpreter one we will using different ideas such as jupyter notebook and anaconda we will talking about that in the next video so don't worry about it now as you can see my python has been installed i will just close this and if i were to type python here so it is saying it is still has not recognized it now i will first check if python has been successfully installed yes python has been installed for me and i will run my cmd again if i check pip and actually pip has been installed as you can see it did not say pip pip has not been recognized i think python might have also been installed let me check after this uh, it is still loading and python yeah python has also installed as you can see if you see this three lines then it means python has been installed now if i were to type help i think yep it's working and i can also print some stuff like print ali as you can see ali has been printed as you can see python is very easy to learn it has simple words like print for while we will get into it all in the later videos but don't need to worry about python it is very basic and very easy to understand <clears throat> now after this uh, i would mostly say about how to install the paths if you are still getting an error that python and pip has not been recognized then i will tell you how to get that first of all you will need to go to your my computer properties after going to properties click it advanced system settings from there you will see environmental variables click that also from going here you will see some paths you will see intellij java path. now as you can see i have a one path here already this is my java path now i want a path in which i have my python stored now if i want to set here uh, let me control c this and then show you as a whole what is it based here as you can see this has my path one for java one for recl and one for github and windows powershell and stuff like that now we want to add one for our pip to do that it will be easy you just need to open your windows but go to your start button and just search python you will see three options python idle and stuff like that just click on python right click on python idle open file location after opening the file location you will come in this directory If you see the share scripts and library files, then yes, you are in the correct library. Now, to add Python in your CMD with environmental variables, you need to go in this directory, click over here, or anywhere to copy this whole path. Just copy this path. After copying it, go back here. I cancel this and new. Click new. Name it anything like uh, Python or path doesn't matter much. Then just uh, <coughs> enter your path with Control V. After doing that, you just need to click OK. I am not clicking OK because my path has already been added, so I don't need to click that. And remember to add a semicolon as a separator. Now I will cancel this. Now after that, your Python should be activated. But there still is a problem that pip has not been activated. To do that, you will need to go in the script directory, open the script folder, and if you see these three in here, pip, pip 3.8, pip 3, then you are in the correct folder. Now you have to copy this path also with Control C and do the same procedure. Either create a new one or you can edit the old path by adding a I think a semicolon. Uh, let me confirm whether it's a semicolon or not. No, it's a uh, yep, it's a semicolon. I think I added a colon by mistake. Let me check. Okay, yep, here. Yep, I added a colon by mistake. A semicolon. Basically, the semicolon is used to add as a separator because the computer will know that yes, this path is for a different program and the rest path is for a different program. So after adding the semicolon, I will paste my path here. I am not pasting my path right now because, as I said before, I have already integrated my Python and pip with my environment variables because I clicked that small box. Now, after clicking OK here, you will just need to click OK here also. and then apply all of this after doing that your python and pip should be installed if you still have a problem you can ask in the comments now that will be all for this video and in the next video we'll be mostly looking at how to install jupyter and other ids and that will be all